The Terminator may not have exactly predicted the future, but one thing is clear. Robotics are a bigger part of warfare than ever before. And now the army says robots have the potential to spare more U.S. lives by keeping humans out of some combat scenarios. Come with me if you want to live. A proposal to embed new drone and robotics platoons with brigades army-wide is currently under consideration. How many armed platoons would be embedded is still being worked out, but the army reportedly has the capacity to outfit 16 of these robotics and autonomous system platoons. Ground robots are not particularly new to the army. The military has been experimenting with them for some time. Some are called quadruped robots, more commonly known as robot dogs. The kinks are still being worked out though. Robot Fido had some problems sensing obstacles and didn't entirely listen to the humans barking orders at them. Right now, the Army has two robotic autonomous system platoons. One is with the 82nd Airborne, the other is experimental. They use a number of different drones and robot vehicles, like the Ghost X. And the platoon features a squad multi-purpose transport vehicle. This bad boy can be kitted out with different tools or weapons depending on the mission, like a Javelin anti-tank missile. Robotic autonomous system platoons are capable of scouting out locations and engaging enemy forces before any friendly humans step foot on the battlefield, thus saving American lives. Of course, there are some ethical questions that still need to be answered, like who should make the decision to kill an enemy, a robot or a human? Right now, the decision usually lies in the hands of a human operating the machine. At least, that's how it is for U.S. forces. There is evidence some drones in Ukraine could be taking autonomous lethal action, though. The U.N. isn't saying much on the use of so-called robotic warfare either. In Geneva in 2021, U.N. officials discussed autonomous weapons but tabled the talks. And when it comes to drones and international law, there is no provision specifically mentioning their use in war. But that could also change. The Geneva Convention has been updated in the past to restrict landmines, booby traps, and incendiary weapons.